Hey everybody, this is Pete, and in this video I want to demonstrate how you can link up the tolerances from the Tolerance Analysis Stack Up tool in Inventor to individual components. That way if you make changes to the component, it will reflect in the Tolerance Analysis and vice versa. So I've got a simple analysis set up here, nothing crazy, just some blocks. And you can see that I've already created the stack up and in the details pane, you'll see that some of them from the case and the tolerance block, that's the gray box and the orange block, they have these little link icons. That means that the analysis tool is linked back to the part. So if I make a change here, that will update inside the part. And the way that this works is if we take a look at the tolerance analysis block, it's got a 3D annotation. That's how the process works. If we look at the other block though, it doesn't have any 3D annotations. Therefore, in the tolerance analysis tool, it doesn't have the little link. So what you need to do is create the link by adding the annotation, then when we recreate the stack up, so actually it doesn't update live, so we'd have to build a new stack up, then we'll have the 3D annotation with the tolerance linking. So let's go ahead and take that on. It should only take me a moment. So in the 3D annotations, you've got the ability to create a dimension. That's all I'm going to do today. So I'm going to dimension from this plane over to the other plane, and you can just kind of leave it hang for a second or right click. Pick my other face and then if you right click you can change all sorts of things like select the annotation plane which I want to use this back face there and then you can also do keystrokes so the tab key rotates the text. So I'll go ahead and place that and then when you click here you can change the type of tolerance you want. I'll just do something simple. You can even change the precision by clicking on the design, you can click on the precision. You can also click on the tolerance as well as give it a value. So we'll say plus or minus 15 thousandths, hit the apply, and there we have it. So now this block has that 3D annotation on it. If we go back to tolerance analysis, we could create a new stack up. So I'll just generate a new one. It'll be the same set up so you can kind of see the difference. Selection 2 will be this face. I'll make the front the annotation plane this time. Pick it and then it found a path so I want to just use my path across and it will generate the stack up. So there you have it and, and what's cool about this is there's the link. So now this tolerance block 2 has a link and if we change the tolerance here to 30 thousandths, if I go back to the component, you'll see it actually does update the tolerance. And if I come back over here and I change the tolerance within the component, that also affects the tolerance stack up. You can see now it's up to 0 0.019. So that's how this process can work. There is another scenario, and I'll jump over here, where you can link them and that's with certain features. So, so far I found that the whole feature, if you use a whole feature in Inventor, that automatically gives you the opportunity to link or delink it. And in this case, if you didn't want to link something, so you could link it, or if you click on the link, it deactivates the linking. So that's another option. So if you just wanna experiment with it and you don't wanna write back to the part, you can just delink it. So that's another wrinkle. You can use whole features and you can click on the chain link to link and delink the changes. So I'll just show you that one more time here. If I delink the change and we change this back to, or to 50 thousandths, if we go back to the block two, it still shows the 19 thousandths tolerance. So just a little tip today on how you can link the two. That can take your tolerance analysis writes that data back to the part once you've got it dialed into that sweet spot, it can be very helpful in the design process. So if you have any questions or comments, let me know and have a blessed day.